What's up guys, and in a video not too long ago, I was talking about how the Wi-Fi in this room is really unreliable. And so a company called Zyxel reached out and said they could solve the problem. So what they've done is sent over their Multi-X network package. And what we're gonna do is set it all up and see if it actually improves the speeds. What we've got right now is a powerful, but at the same time single router. And the problem is, it is about 12 meters that way. So by the time that signal has reached me in this room, has gone through all those walls, it's been pretty interrupted. So the idea of using a mesh network like the Multi-X is to avoid using repeaters and extenders that effectively bottle the bandwidth of your Wi-Fi connection. Like most current generation routers, the one I've got over here supports not only 2.4 GHz bands, but also 5. 5 GHz allowing for faster download speeds, but at the same time coming at the cost of reduced range. Because of the distance between this room and the room we're filming in, the 5 GHz signal is not even close to getting to me. And even with a repeater attached, it's not quite enough for the signal to be reliable. So I still stick with the slower 2.4 GHz. So in theory, what's gonna happen is by connecting one of these nodes to where the router originally was and another one on the other side of the house, I shouldn't have this problem. But before we get into that, it would be worth taking a look at our current speeds. So I split our room into three zones, the front desk, the back desk, and the bed. And for each of these zones, we'll do a speed test before and a speed test after to see if there has been any difference whatsoever. And in all three zones, we're getting a pretty consistent result. Whilst the download speed does vary from about 20 to about 25 to about 30, the upload speed is staying more or less the same as is the ping at around 10 milliseconds ping and about 13 megabits per second upload. The setup process on these little nodes was extremely simple. The first node that plugs directly into your router requires an ethernet cable and a power. And then you just open the application and it pretty much does the rest for you. I needed to press a couple of buttons just assigning what room I wanted the node to represent and also creating a network name and a password. There was a little bit of flashing, a little bit of waiting, and then we were done. So far so good because the second one was even faster to install than the first. This one of course goes in our room, the one we're trying to boost the signal in, and only requires a power cable. Even though these two multi boxes were about 15 meters away from each other, the app is really quite strict on this rule, so I did have to bring the multi that was connected directly to my router a little bit closer. But after that one adjustment, it did all work as expected. This multi connects to that multi and the network is up and running. On the subject of the app, it is a generally positive experience. It does make things quite easy, but it's not the most feature rich one I've seen. It does seem to be getting regular updates, which are gonna help with security as well as performance. And what I do like is that even when you're walking around and your devices switch between connecting from one node to another, you never notice the transition. For some people, one of the potential factors when it comes to buying something like this would be aesthetics, and design-wise, these don't do anything too controversial. They are pretty sleek, and the soft white means it blends well into a room. Up close, I'm not a fan of the grainy finish, and would have preferred to see a smooth matte texture. And whilst it also does get a little bit hot after prolonged use, it is sturdy and well-made, and in the scheme of things, those are small issues. All right, so after having installed the routers and connecting to that 5G network that is now available, running those speed tests, what were the results? It was pretty surprising, to be honest. The difference between this and my last setup was unexpectedly large. While the ping and the upload speed have stayed more or less identical, download speeds have gone through the roof. On the rear desk, we've gone all the way to nearly 50 megabits per second, but on the bed, we broke the 100 megabits per second mark. And moving over to the front desk, 120 megabits per second. Overall then, a pretty good result. So I think this will be my current Wi-Fi setup, at least for the time being. And I suppose in my next desk tour upgrade, I'll let you know how it's held up over time. Download speeds are fantastic, coverage is consistent, and whilst the application doesn't feel necessarily like a fully formed product, updates are coming. Thanks a lot for watching guys. My name is Aaron, this is Mr. Who's the Boss, and I'm signing out.